But Josiah, take us through the week and what's it been like? I mean, the obviously you didn't know that was going to happen, but uh, yeah, uh, the week was long and hot <laughs> and uh, very trying. And there was times where I was thinking about the future, just like you know, uh, you know, you always have those those weak thoughts. And growing up, my dad was always like, "You got to get those thoughts, and you got to throw them in the dish and keep going." And so, uh, but my buddies like Richie Brown. And uh, my girlfriend, Lauren, she'd always say, you know, you just got to take one day at a time. And Richie would come up and be like, man, you got to keep your head up. You got to keep working. And Zach Neary, the safe walk on safety, he'd come up and be like, just keep attacking special teams. And because uh, it's frustrating because you get reps and then you don't get reps. But uh, it was all worth it when they called, up, called me and KC down front and uh, gave us the scholarships. So. Can you take us through that? Though? Can you take us through them giving you the scholarship and kind of how? Yeah, it all went they. Uh, we it was a long. We had practice that morning, and then we had walkthroughs, and it was about uh, nine o'clock that night. And then we were all in a team meeting, and then they started showing uh, videos of Casey. Now Casey had making plays all over defense. He was making a lot of picks and stuff, and, and I was just hanging by the skin of my teeth. But uh, so they started showing videos of Casey and you know. How he hustled and, and everything, and, and then they showed a video of me uh, making a, a play, and then uh, doing some calls and line hustling and stuff. And then uh, he said, "Y'all two come down here." And we, when he said that, I was like, "Uh oh, what's what's about to happen?" And then uh, he said, "Because of y'all's hard work and your commitment," and it got quiet, and then everyone jumped out of their seats and dog piled and <laughs> hooted and hollered, and we jumped around for a good five minutes. And, and then uh, uh, Richie was the uh, was the guy that really helped me get through the the camp, and he was he was the my brother that I gave a big hug to and shed tears with, and it was an emotional moment. And I thank the Lord for it. What does it so, mean to you? It means a lot. Uh, growing up, always wanted to play football here at state. And, um, you know, being a walk on is really tough because. You just like swimming upstream, and um, you earn everything you get. And uh, I guess what means the most is uh, thinking about my dad was probably the, the first thing that came to my mind because he, he passed away. And uh, but he before he died, he knew I was coming. He knew I had a walk on spot, and I, I saw him fighting cancer. And he'd be over there on the side of the fence, slumped over, trying to stand up. But he'd be out there with me, and he'd be running me and stuff, and uh, and so I guess that image would stick in my head. And uh, you know, I got brothers that serve our country. I got four older brothers, and they all did a sacrifice in their life, putting their lives on hold to do that. And one of the brothers who was a walk-on here, he he was paying for my education, and so to know that I can, he didn't have to do that now, uh, was a was a big deal to us. And then my little brothers and sisters, because uh, uh, we're from here in town, and they, they took care of me. And get up early in the morning to come to workouts and have a sister cook me breakfast. And, uh, uh, sometimes they'd pack me lunch. But now, having that uh, free meal plan and <laughs> gas in the tank, <laughs> I can uh, come back between classes and say, hey, and. Uh, it, it means a lot. It's affected the, my whole family. And, uh, it's been it's been very special just within the two days. So, what what has things been like in your career here? I mean, obviously you started here as a quarterback, and yeah. not a lot of quarterbacks make the transition to, to linebacker. Yeah. But you've done that. Just talk about that. Uh, well, I guess for me, coming in not knowing a lot about the game because I didn't grow up playing. <clears throat> coming in, Coach Johnson uh, was patient with me. He knew where I came from, and he taught me the lingo. He taught me what. The basics of A and C gap and field and boundary and stuff that are just common sense I didn't, didn't know. So he taught me that and then after a year I played scout team tight end because we needed one because Fitz was doing the scout team quarterback. So I moved there and then uh, I asked Coach Moore if I could just move the tight end because I liked it better. And so for two months uh, Coach Salek taught me blocking schemes and everything. And then once spring, the first day of spring ball I had the playbook down. I was ready to go because I played quarterback so I knew it. And then I got a text from Coach Diaz, who was the coordinator at the time, saying, you're not a linebacker. And I was kind of mad because I was like, I just stayed all night. 
for no reason. <laughs> now I have no idea what I'm going to do. And, uh, and then he was patient with me. And so I went from quarterback knowing the, the routes to tight end, knowing the blocking scheme. Now I'm a linebacker, so it kind of helps me understand what a guard pool is and I know kind of better how to react. And it's been good. I feel like where, how I went through the positions was perfect to set me up for linebacker now. So, How does a guy that was homeschooled end up on an SEC team? I mean, how does that even go about happening? Well, that's the will, I guess that's the will of God. Because I, uh, all the way from the beginning, I always thought, you know, I always told the Lord, for a time I, I had to come, I wanted to come. And then when I was about 18, I realized that Christ comes first. And it was, it was a point where I thought, you know what, I don't have to play football. And after that, one door opened after another. And then before my dad died, you know, I got his blessing. He said, I want you to, I want you to play. So I came here. It, now when I look back, it really is not that big of a deal. But I guess if you never played it, it is a big deal. But you never played organized football at all? I played eight-man eight flag football, which doesn't relate. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of advice way. would you give to, to walk-ons in your situation? Uh, I guess, you know, get on special teams. And, you know, you got to embrace the suck because every day sucks. And you have to learn to love pain. And it's okay if you don't fit in, and it's okay if you fit in. But you come here, and you got to learn to be a team player. And then you got to still look out for yourself in a small way, because everyone's here to play. They didn't come here to be a backup and to support the team. And so for me, I had to sort of learn that. And uh, but I guess to keep your head in. But if you know something, you know it, and you can teach other people that when you start to help others you start to become better so you, you can't be bashful just because you came from nothing you gotta stand up and uh, push the other guys so coming in my thing was effort I could start there but I didn't know what to do I'm running at the quarterback <laughs> you talked about it, it not being good kind of sucking did you ever think about quitting uh, to, to be honest maybe I I never thought I'm gonna quit. It was always if I stop, it'll be at the end of a season. But uh, I was never, never in the back of my mind to ever think about walking away. But uh, there was times where financially, I may have to stop, which was very motivating when you're 120, 110 degrees and the sun's beating down and you're sitting there like you're suffering and uh, you're ready to go home. But uh, uh, not never just walk off the field and quit. But my dad wasn't a quitter, so I've, for me, everything is a matter of principle. I couldn't look at my family straight in the eyes if I just gave it up like that. But what was your family's reaction when you told them that you were going to place on scholarship? It was uh, it was very exciting. It was emotional. It just so happened everybody was at the house just hanging out anyway. Because my brother, who paid for my college, he came home from the army and surprised the family. So he was just so happy to be home. So I got a big hug from him, and big old three of my big brothers gave me a big hug, and we cried. And uh, you know, he, all the way down to the little kids, it was everybody was affected by him. What's his name? The which the, one? The brother who was paying for your, your school. Jonathan Phillips. Where's he stationed right now? Uh, Fort Bend, Georgia. He's an Army Ranger. So you got a big family. How, how many people are exactly in your family? There's nine boys and four girls. Same mom, daddy. <laughs> so, a lot of love between everybody. What uh, was your dad's name and when did he pass? You said what? What, when, what was your dad's name and when did he pass? Uh, Randy Phillips, and he passed away October 2nd, uh, 